Hello boys and girls and welcome back to another week of growing together. Have you been enjoying learning the story of Ruth? I have really enjoyed learning and studying more about Ruth with all of you. I really like her story because it has so many lessons in it that we can use for our own daily lives. When we first met Ruth, she made a wise choice. Her choice was to follow Naomi back to her hometown and she told Naomi she would stay with her no matter what and that she would follow her no matter where Naomi would go. And with that, we learned that we too need to make wise choices for God. The choices that we have in our daily lives affect everything that we do. The choice of whether or not we are going to obey our parents, the choice of whether we are going to finish our homework, the choice of whether we are going to tell the truth. Lots of choices every single day of our lives, isn't there, boys and girls? And God always wants you to make those wise choices, and He tells you that He will be there to help you with that. And last week, we continued on with the story of Ruth and Naomi back in their hometown, where Ruth went out into the fields to gather food for her and Naomi to eat. Well, she worked so hard and she was so faithful in the job that she was doing that she was noticed for her hard work. When Boaz noticed her, he told her that because of her hard work and faithfulness, he would allow her to gather all the food she needs from his field and that he would even protect her. Just like Ruth's hard work was noticed, your hard work and faithfulness also get noticed by God and everyone else around you, my friends. So in everything that you do, work as if you are working for God and your hard work and faithfulness will surely be noticed and rewarded as well. Well, in today's episode, we are going to finish the story of Ruth. And in today's episode, we are going to talk about how Boaz became Ruth's redeemer. I can't wait to share the story with you. So we are going to go ahead and sing our theme song and then we will get straight into the story. As we are This is the story of Ruth's new family. After their first conversation, Ruth felt totally comfortable with Boaz's kindness. She said, May I continue to find favor in your eyes. You have put me at ease, even though you don't know me as well as you know the other servants. At mealtime, Boaz invited Ruth to eat with the group. Come over here and have some bread. You can dip it in the cup right there. When she sat down with all the other workers, 
he offered her some roasted grain. After she left, he ordered his man, Let her get some of the grain from the sheaves over there, and don't scold her. You can even help her by pulling some of the bundles and leaving them for her. Just leave them on the ground. She'll get them. And make sure you don't speak mean to her. So Ruth worked until evening, until she got enough for her and her mother-in-law. Naomi was surprised at the amount she brought back. So Naomi asked, Daughter, where did you work today? Blessed be the man who helped you. Ruth told Naomi, <sighs> His name is Boaz. He even told me to keep coming until the harvest period is over. This may be good for you, my dear, because in someone else's field, the men might try to harm you. At the end of the harvest, Naomi has a plan. Ruth, this is what I want you to do. Boys and girls, Naomi gave a plan that helped Boaz and Ruth to become husband and wife. Boaz did everything he needed to do to take Ruth as his wife. And the story does not end there. They got married, had a baby, and that baby was the father of King David's dad. What an amazing family. I call this story a story from bitterness to amazing joy. As we end our story of Ruth, I have two questions that I would like you to think about and discuss with your family today. The first is, how does Jesus redeem us? And the second question is, how can we thank Jesus for being our redeemer? You got that, boys and girls? All right, before we go ahead and say goodbye, let's pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for being our Redeemer and being with us and having a relationship with us. We thank you so much for the story of Ruth where we can learn so much about making wise choices, being faithful and working hard and being committed to you. Please help us to remember this in our daily lives and to always walk in the right path so that we can always be right in our relationship with you. Please watch over us today. In your name we pray. Amen. As we end our story of Ruth, I want you to remember that you have your very own Redeemer as well, and that is Jesus Christ. When God sent Jesus, his son, down to die for us and to save us from our sins, he gave us our very own Redeemer. And because we have Jesus as our Redeemer, our sins and all of our wrongs can be forgiven. We need to be committed and faithful to Jesus so that we can have that right relationship with God.